In the user interface overview tutorial, you already saw how to open a file in detail mode with the integrated player. The player's basic functionality is obvious. Press play and pause, stop to go to the beginning. Additionally, you can navigate through the clip frame by frame when it's paused. Or you can navigate between markers and in and out points. Setting in and out points works like in most editing programs. You can also loop, in this case we're looping from in to out. Very useful for quality checking material, especially 4K, is the zoom function. You just point your mouse to the part of the image you want to zoom in on and then use the mouse wheel or trackpad to zoom in and out. To check how your slow-mo shot will look in your project, it's great to see it exactly played back at the editing frame rate while screening. This is a shot made in 120p using an A7S and my editing project will be 24p, so I set the playback speed to 24 frames per second. Remember that you can do this on set on your SD card in a shooting break to check if your slow-mo shot is good enough or if you have to redo it. You can also use a zebra filter to check the exposure of your raw material. Or the widescreen filter to check if your image will work in that format. And last but not least, the full screen button is up here. Try it and go play with it, you'll find your way around.